Here's an example of trying to figure out how many respondents we need in our sample in order to guarantee a margin of error of plus or minus 0.1 at a 99% confidence level. So if the university wants to know the average number of absences per semester within a, a margin of error of 0.1 lectures at 99%, how many professors must be sampled? Recall that the standard deviation from the pilot study showed uh, showed a, a standard deviation of 1.2 lectures. So recall that the margin of error equals the z-score for the confidence level times the standard error of the mean. So the margin of error equals z times s over root n. And if we solve for n, we find that n equals z times s over the margin of error all squared. So all we have to do is plug in our numbers. These are z's just in case you weren't sure. Plug in our numbers to solve for n. So in this case n equals we want the z-score for a 99 percent confidence level. Based on our table we go down the 99 percent uh, uh, column to the bottom row that corresponds to a z-score and we see it's 2.58. So 2.58 times 1.2, that's the S, all over the margin of error. And the margin of error here is given as 0 0.1, all squared. Using the calculator, we see that this is equal to 2.58 times 1.2 divided by 0.1. So that equals 3.096 over 0.1, all squared, which equals 30.96 squared. which equals 958.5. And therefore, in order to be 99% sure of the number of absences per professor, with a margin of error of just one-tenth of a lecture, the university is going to have to sample 959 professors.